Welcome to The Real Deal, and today we're going to discuss why you shouldn't be fooled by remarkable real estate headlines. Don't be impressed by the headlines reporting year-over-year -year housing numbers for the next several months. That's data covering March, April, May, and June. The data will most likely show eye-popping one-year increases. While the year-over-year -year jumps will certainly be striking, consumers should take into these numbers with a grain of salt. As the situation highlights a short-term quirk in the reporting of this data. Essentially, the increases will reflect a combination of two things. Sharply lower housing numbers during last year's virus-related market collapse and the subsequent strong rebound. This will result in what will appear to be unbelievable growth. Let's use single family home sales as an example. As the graph reveals, last spring's buy-in market was anything but typical. Instead of sales increasing, they fell sharply and as a result of stay-at-home orders, that virtually shut down the real estate industry. This spring's real estate market will bounce back with more normal seasonal sales increases. The percentage increase in the sales will be astronomical. Not because sales have skyrocketed, but instead because they will be compared to last year's low numbers. Ladies and gents, let's cut to the chase and here's the bottom line. There are likely to be some sensational headlines about real estate over the coming months. However, don't be fooled. The actual story is that the real estate market is finally back to normal. That's all we've got time for today on this very quick episode of The Real Deal. So don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next week.